What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and if this is your first time please do not forget to like and also to subscribe. Today what I'm about to talk about, oh, I think you already know what we're here for. I mean if you saw the title most definitely you know. What I want to talk about today is Instagram. Instagram is so like you know Instagram is a new thing. I mean what are we without Instagram? Instagram is like a collection of all apps not really but you know just Pinterest and just a gallery you know it is a gallery though you basically get whatever I, and that, that you are looking for thanks to the hashtags that we that you find on IG I feel like these glasses are disturbing me or rather they're disturbing you from seeing me from my eyes I don't know if it, I feel like they are doing something wrong. So probably the reason why you clicked on this video, you want to hear what um, you, you could change with, with your Instagram. Well, I have a few things to talk about. For starters, why are you using Instagram? You know, I think that's like a basic thing. Why Why? Why am I on IG? Why, why really do I have Instagram? Why? Is it for business? Is it for a personal experience? A personal... I don't know, it could be anything. Um, so it could be business, could be personal, depending on what you are on Instagram for. Probably you also have a few people that you know that take really good pictures. If like you wanna take pictures and you don't know how, what kind of pictures you wanna take, you wanna make it look professional. I think this video might might be for you. You know, might be might be a video for you. So let's let's get down to what we are here for, right? So step number one take pictures that mean something i mean guys come on just take a picture that actually means a thing you know if you love to travel and you do travel because you have people that have written on their bio that they travel but if if you go down on their post you don't see any traveling photo wow just selfies is it is it still called a selfie if it's uh two people on the photo is, is it still a selfie but I, I just don't think it's called i just don't think it's called a selfie if there are two people on the photo wouldn't make sense two people on the photo shouldn't be a selfie I don't, I don't think we call it a selfie if you know what we call two people on the photo please leave that down below it would be really nice to help other people let's go take a selfie while what what does selfie mean then if there are two people on the photo normally all the photos that you see on my instagram i it's either i directed harshly those photos or they were taken by me myself like whereby i just put a tripod over there and i go pose so that, that could also be helpful you know if you like taking pictures or um, in a very specific way because when you wanted to get annoyed if you might say like oh don't shoot this term and you know people just get really annoyed we said step number one is taking photos that actually mean something and step number two do you have specific presets that you want to use for your photos? Meaning, if maybe let's say in general, I'm wearing t-shirts of black with black glasses, I'm brown, I have black beard, black hair, and my background right there is black and white. We have a lot of black on this on this illustration. The wall is almost white. Let's say maybe we try an environment that is of these colors at most, right? The best thing to do is a good CK. I kind of use these colors as my basic preset. Let me take glasses off for a little bit. What I mean is, your photos should always send something similar. Like, let's say, um, you could be taking a photo right now, right here, and you're taking another photo in Dubai or whatever. But um, the presets or the colors of the photo, they blend or they, they complement each other. And if Abanyabandu, they want to follow a certain preset, and, and it, I, mean, I can easily tell who to buy an the Lightroom to edit it, so which is a good thing. The problem that I have with people using Lightroom is would say they over color if that makes sense. I don't know how you all use Lightroom. Lightroom is, is, is a really good tool to use for photos because it doesn't you know doesn't damage or ruin your photos. You just have to change a few things that you need to change on the photo. If you want to have a really beautiful professional looking you know page on your Instagram, I think that would be a perfect thing to do. Anyway. So for people that actually do follow me on Instagram, this is something that I would like you to do. After posting a photo on Instagram, would you kindly leave a comment right there below and tell me that you actually saw me taking this photo live on my YouTube channel? Or maybe you don't even have to mention all of that, but what you have to do is just to like the photo and just move on. Oh, maybe, but you really don't have to do that. I mean, you could just like and just scroll, you know, watch some other really interesting things. I'm gonna use this book. As Mwati, 
I'll pretend like I'm reading. I don't know if I, show, I should show this part, even though in a day, no. Or maybe just this part. So if you like this video, just know you will get this book. She will get this book. You will get this book. We are gonna get this book. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I thought this might be easy, but it's not. I'm trying to take this photo that I said I would take. And bro, it's really hectic, but I'm working on it. Okay, so this is the photo from this to this. So I thought maybe how about we make a color correction to be more retro. This is how the coloring process of the photo actually came about. So yeah. So hopefully this video was helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like and also to subscribe on this channel. Thank you for watching. Glasses off. Thank you. See you on the next one.